AI art comics are slowly becoming a straight up plague on Webtoon. After reviewing two, my fans have found me countless more and sending them to me to provide them with a very well-deserved thrashing. And at the rate by which fans keep sending me these as I trash on them, it's like playing whack-a-mole on meth. In this video, we're gonna quickly round up the AI art Webtoons that my boys have been recommending me to read up in what I would like to call something of a lightning round, where I just quickly cover and verbally thrash on them all in bite-sized short reviews. Before we get started, as per usual, I decided to do a live reading of these pieces of junk alongside one of my pals. This time, it's Maddie Bites. Check this out. How I feel about, about Why did you, what the fuck? <laughs> well, whatever. I love her however she is, or act like a kid sometimes. <laughs> hey, Delina, you called me. Why you need something, so baby? <laughs> what is this why is a speech, speech bubble, bubble coming out of itself? This is speech bubbles having a f***ing enema. What is happening? <laughs> You're going to be seeing plenty of clips of us thrashing on this thing as we go, so if you'd like to see the full video of our live reaction to all of this, all you have to do is support me with $5 on Patreon. Link in the description of this video. Now, let's get started. The first thing on the chopping block is Junker, a sci-fi dystopian comic about, um, honestly, I couldn't totally find out. That and, well, I, I kind of didn't put the effort into do so. You may have noticed that it's actually more difficult to kind of tell that this one is AI art, but the only real reason why is because it's rock in a semi-unique style. And when I say semi-unique, I just mean that it doesn't look like the typical bull crap. All the other previous stuff we gave a gander at all looked like that super duper plasticish, obnoxiously glossy work that is very easy to tell is AI, provided you just look at how many additional fingers and limbs there are. They all share the same vibe and you can easily tell what is what. In this comic, however, you get thrown off at first, but much like Lore Olympus, once you look past the cover, you can very easily tell that it's actually shit. But uh, yeah, as soon as you get past the first panel, you can very easily see that it's AI. Oh, yeah, interesting. What the f is going on down here? Look interesting. At this. Look at all that blur. No, that's just how feet look. You've never seen a foot. <laughs> <laughs> look, what is going on here? Why is oh, this? Oh, geez, yeah. Yeah. Like, it's trying to, like, at first, like, the, this image looks fine. It's real, it, like, tries to capture that grungy art style perfectly. Yeah. But then as soon as you go down here, the next panel, yeah, it's very clear. Like, because you can see, it's really... I'm kind of I, at a loss for words for yeah. how it looks right now. <laughs> Same. It's like jello. I don't know. It's interesting, because, like, with comics, you're not, like... As like a reader, you don't really spend that much time looking at art unless you're an artist. Like an everyday average reader isn't gonna sit and look and be like, oh, that looks weird, that looks weird. But like- I feel like it's, <laughs> I feel like it's noticeable enough to that point though, where just an, an average reader can see this shit. Yeah, it is, it is a little blobby. Yeah. You're probably wondering what the story to this thing is. Well, honestly, like I said, I didn't even put in the effort to try and learn it. I mean, the creator of this thing did not put in the effort to actually draw the damn comic, so why should I put any effort into learning what this is even about? The first episode of this thing is kind of just random stuff happening that's clearly trying to establish the rustic post-apocalyptic setting that this comic is trying to have. The problem with that is, well, it's a glorified collage of AI-generated images attempting to simulate world building. So yeah, it's garbage by default. You see, the way AI programs make artwork is very similar to like, I don't know, you guys ever see the Terminator movies? Y you know how there's like that Cyberdyne stuff that's all synthetic blob type shit that comes out and forms into body parts and everything? Yeah, that's basically what AI generated art is like when it's being made. It's just so synthetic looking. I'll leave the leftover clips to sum up the rest of this. Okay, so- Is there an elevator? From what I can understand, I think the, the creator is is just getting just generating the images yeah and then he's just going to ms paint and then just writing the fucking text himself <laughs> i will say nothing screams amateur uh like comic book artist or just someone trying to make a comic book like weird text like this because it's yeah. like it has to be easy to read 
Yeah. I don't know. I love how every single one, every time we review AI art, we're not even like trying to pay attention to the story. All we're doing is like just trying to reverse engineer the creative process. Yeah, basically. No, I'm not. I, I almost, uh, I just called it a creative process. Get the f out. No, that's not what this is. Not much else of substance to say there, so let's just move on to the next one. The second sin on the face of the art community is this one God of Voice, which is a dumb name. This is like a webtoon that's like loosely based off of an actual actual celebrity or something like that. In a world God. where sound reigns supreme, meet Zhao Dan, a talented boy with a gift of singing, disguised as a lady, what? his what? captivating voice enchants all who hear it. I don't know. This series, <laughs> is... <laughs> <laughs> this series is inspired by singer Zhou Zhen, top singer of mainland China, a male singer with angelic female voice. However, this series is fiction, and all the characters have no connection with Shou Zhen or any actual person. Whatever, who cares? Anyway, this webtoon is about as bad as it gets when it comes to AI-generated laziness. There's no parlor tricks to be had there. It's super duper standard ugly ass diet anime manhua with obligatory plastic glossiness that makes it very obvious that this is all artificial intelligence. But it actually goes further than that because this piece of junk follows on the traits of a bad manhua too. So expect a lot of endless babbling about pointless bullcrap that doesn't matter. Expect a lot of random characters being introduced. Expect a story that makes zero sense and expect the manufacturer of this monstrosity to go to next level grounds of laziness in order to produce what barely qualifies as a comic strip. Humanity began wielding the gods' powers as tools for unending warfare, as you can tell in this image of a dude kind of just standing there for no reason. <laughs> so is oh, it never Earth mind bending? battle. Is it like is it like Avatar except with sound? Maybe we'll find out later. I don't Consequently, <laughs> the four gods reclaim their powers. What are their powers again? I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know. I guess they sing people to death or some shit. Like, and vowed to bestow them solely upon those who fulfill is, three criteria. Is it just the little mermaid? Like, ah. Uh... Shut up. We'll, we'll find out. Shut up. We'll find out later. <laughs> what is this? What is this panel where you just showed the dude the motherfucker's ear? Is his ear talking? Is that the speech bubble? <laughs> He's listening to Just whoever. Next level lazy. Uh, I like. Look! I look don't at this. Know. Look! 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 Hold on! Shit! I mean. So maybe I couldn't help you it. Do. Is it me or is, is it me or is the fucking, is there? The face is weirdly sloping. No, it's, is there like an airbrush tool, like a red airbrush tool just being awkwardly friggin' sprayed across her eyeballs and her face? Mm, probably. It was like this, this panel. And it was also like a, this panel. See, look. Mm. Yeah, 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 look, I can see it. I can see the crease lines, look. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I see, I see. That's insane. That's I'm so just... fucking <laughs> lazy. <laughs> Around There's here. his ear, there's yeah. his shoulder, and you zoom down and it goes all the way down to his arm. You see that? Is that really? That? Yeah, look. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They just cut it out. Yeah. Interesting. That is next level lazy. <laughs> that, that is next level lazy. Certainly a way to do that. Just grab a f image and then and you then, just cut parts out of it. And then you and... got the multiple panels and you don't yeah. have to ask the silly computer to do things more than once. Yeah, who needs drawing? Who needs to put effort into their artwork? You know, just Certainly fucking... not me. Yeah, that is, that, is, that is amazing to me. Like, honest to God, like I need to I need to like, I don't take think I ever in. would have caught that. Yeah, they were certainly very sneaky about it. That's incredible Interesting. to me. The only thing that really stands out in this entire thing isn't even in the actual comic. What's kind of neat is that the creator, quote unquote, of this garbage actually goes into defense mode and starts defending herself in the comment section. And check this out. I was seriously questioning it was AI art and I think I'm right. Don't mislead people into thinking that this is all your big idea because it wasn't. How can you be so shameless to post this? Take responsibility and take this story down. Other people who are on here have hundreds of chapters who work their butts off to get to a certain point. You have not worked hard at all. <laughs> what does the reply say? Uh, let me see. <laughs> oh, the creator! Oh! I just closed the info at the very first page of the series and I never lied about it. And this series is still here for months because it deserves to be here. <laughs> yeah, you keep telling yourself that. Oh, geez, that's hilarious. Yeah, 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 yeah. The story is mine 100%, but you said it was based off of... 
AI, so it's not yours, and it's also based off of someone else's life, so it's yeah. really, really not yours, you dumb mother. So I, I don't know. All right. I could be inspired by, but yeah, okay, you whatever that part, that part is fine, but everything else is hell no. Yeah. All right. Uh, you turned off the comments. <laughs> really? You couldn't <laughs> accept that people like you using AI shouldn't even be on webtoons, <laughs> and people are calling you out for it. Honestly, you have no idea how many years it takes for artists for practice just so some low life person can go and take their work for lifeless AI art. I'm shocked at how low people can go to take another person's drawings without permission just so you can make a webtoon. If you really want to tell your story properly, make a novel. Oh my gosh. Why should I? The fact that the series is still here means it's appropriate to be here. Um, we I literally just finished taking down a webcomic called Rape Man. So yeah, that's not exactly a good uh, statement to make in defense of your comic. I'm just saying, yeah, it's so much shit gets past Webtoon moderators. And I have air quotes when I say moderators. <laughs> because, but Oh my gosh, I'm not going to lie. I'm more invested in the comments than I was yeah, in the yeah, yeah, story. Yeah, this is the first, this is the first time I've ever <laughs> Seen. This is the first time I've ever seen like a, a, a webtoon creator actually get butt hurt and like start I've, fighting. I yeah, I don't think I've ever seen a web like I've seen them. Most get people just hurt. like live it. Most people just ignore them, delete the comment, and just continue to live in their own little bubble. Yeah, I've never actually seen them like fighting with people in the yeah. comment section. That's like honestly slightly bizarre. Uh. But yeah, this is Dog Dookie. The final fecal matter is this one, My Girly Life. And this is probably the most interesting one of all for a very special reason. Uh, in this one, I'm not gonna say anything specific. I, I kinda just want you guys to have a gut reaction to this. Check this out. My Girly Life in Ultra Generic GL. Why are the, the chapters are harder, tickles, romantic. Uh, this might be interesting. <laughs> yeah, I was a pain. Let's just let's just let's just get into it. Uh, Story about some girls who are connected to each other in some ways, and they forgot to write the actual. <laughs> 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 <This is> <laughs> Story uh, about some girls who are connected to each other in some ways, and two lovers who stays together, and every day is something new and something fun happens. See for yourself. Wow, these are like all. It's like a daily upload. What? Oh shit! I wasn't even paying attention it to that. What? Look at these. February February 12th, 10th, 9th, 8th, Jesus. Okay, well, let's just see what happens. First I episode. Wish. You ready? You ready for the final countdown? <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, something fun happens. See for yourself. So I'm excited. I mean. Let's do it. I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm afraid. Ah. This series contains shit. Adult sorry. situations. I'm sorry. I'm not going to say it again. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. oh. Uh. Why? Why? Can we please stop using shit that I can't read? Look, you it's just... crook the girl's crooked. Look, you can see. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> She's crooked. Look. <laughs> She's... You just need it. You just need attention. Maybe you okay, so you it's like, can it's like spell the, it's just. Like, it's, it's like the creator like is getting bored of just generating images all day, so the person's trying to be like obnoxiously over creative by using stupid fonts. How many of these AI generated things are written by like middle schoolers? Like genuinely? Well, I mean, when uh, there have to be many, because like what other type of person will unironically look at AI art and be like, oh hey, this is my gateway into becoming a successful comic artist yeah because i like i remember like being in middle school and <laughs> i would write so much shit for wattpad which webtoon i believe bought technically. yeah they did they yeah. did um and so i'm like okay now that all of this is like available how much of this is actually written by middle schoolers mm. honey can you come here please tifa lockhart over here what why the what is this yeah. Give me, dude. Really? Five min del delina. I am doing dishes. <laughs> this girl sometimes. I. This is uh, this is an RP. I can't this read. This is an illustrated RP. This is an illustrated well, RP. There's yeah. there's no way. What else could this possibly be? This is this. Yeah. Either that what, or you're what like other a middle logical schooler. explanation is there for this? You're a horny middle schooler. And look, they look completely different now. Wait. Was that the was that the, the whole chapter? No, 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 no. The look at the oh. look at my tab. Oh, it's a title card. Our girly life. Are these the same bitches? No. She has huh. red they have different hit five men later. God, Finally, I just despise all done. this spot. <laughs> now let's see what she need. Sometimes I feel like I am her babysitter or mother something. <laughs> Your mother you mother you something. <laughs> 
You know when you feel like you're a mother something? Yeah. Uh, well, she is my girlfriend, but... Stupid mother something. <laughs> That's how I feel about... about Why is she... What the fuck? <laughs> well, whatever. I love her however she is. Or act like a kid sometimes. <laughs> hey, Delina, you called me. Why you is need something, baby? <laughs> Why is the speech, speech bubble, bubble coming out of itself? This is speech bubbles have a f***ing enema. What is happening? <laughs> what the f*** is happening? Oh my gosh, this is... <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I am having more fun with this one than yeah, all yeah, the I'm others. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad we picked this one last. You saved the best for last. <laughs> whoa, whoa, oh, baby. Oh, this is mouth that is so creepy. Ew. What the f*** am I looking at? <laughs> you... What the f*** is this? <laughs> what is this? <sighs> so yeah, uh, screw this. And that's all we got for this time around, boys. And after having a brief rundown of all the offerings of this piece of dog dookie, I don't think I need to say that these all suck. Webtoon Canvas is slowly developing a worse and worse image as time passes. Reason being is because they're just letting, well, anything pass through with no form of quality checks and even less following their own rules and policies for uploading. And AI art is definitely not helping. I don't think those idiots over there even realize that eventually Eventually, there's only going to be more and more of this soulless garbage flooding their platform. And yes, everyone in the art community is going to verbally trash on them, but that doesn't change the fact that Webtoon as a company needs to do something about this. Because if they don't, their place is just going to end up being Wattpad, but illustrated. That's all for this video, boys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. It's time for the Patreon Roll Call. My $10 supporters are Art Blocked, Candid Monkey, Jack G, Joseph Vincent, Kazu Cool, Klutzy Ninja Kitty, MCM 101, Mace Oratami, Pai Yan, Skyer, Sindrin 7, Spooky, Stormy Night, and Vincent Lundy. And of course, let's not forget our $5 supporters. They are appreciated just as much as our $10 Patreons. If you'd like to be in the credits of my videos as well and have access to a small library of ad free, uncensored videos, all you gotta do is support me with $5 on Patreon. Thanks for watching, boys. We'll see you next time.